right? Anytime you go to a convention, always look for free swag. Uh, yeah, and and, and, and Yaoi paddles are illegal, which is kind of awesome because you're going to hear that uh, Yuri versus Yaoi can, which for my taste is kind of annoying. Very it's good if you're into that thing, but yeah, it does get annoying. And, and, and so far, nobody has ridiculed us to now, which is odd at a convention. Maybe we're the lucky ones? Or maybe it's bound to happen? Maybe. Oh, oh Yari vs. Yuri thing. I remember them doing that at Anime Fest. It was annoying. It was annoying. That's, that's why we don't have any footage of it. Yes. Not that we have anything against, you know, lesbians, homosexuals, transgender, cross-gender, um, and transvestites. Did I say transvestites? I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, we have nothing against you. Yeah, if, if, if that's where you are, then we're cool. More power, more power to you. Excellent. Awesome. Oh well. So... Enjoy. Thanks. I'm here with Mr. Yan Lau. Um, he's a member of the College Anime in Mexico. Um, so, what are your thoughts? I, I, I don't know. So, who are you? Well, of course, who are you? What are you cosplaying at? Can't hear you. Because I need to sell this right after I use it. Ah, I see. So it's for monetary purposes. Not the fact that you're that you're causing a stranger awareness awareness around the world. Oh. Yes, it's for the people. It's for the people, by the people, and for rangers. So you can see we're at the, I don't know, we're at a corner. We're actually at the end when we shot the previous footage. And so far, as I, can, as I said before, there are a lot of people out there and they're all also awesome uh, elite actors out there. And there's a chance for photo ops. Look, there's a familiar place right over there. It's uh, Brooklyn College Own, Jason Davis. Let's see if we can get a uh, let's see if we can get a yeah, little chin chat. Jason Davis. Hello. Uh, you know very well. What are you cosplaying as, Mr. Davis? Well, I'm actually cosplaying as Love Aikawa, one of the uh, smaller characters from Bleach and one of the few African American characters in horror. Was it Tozen? Uh, yeah, yeah, Tozen is. Oh, he's European American? Well, I don't know. Tozen, there are three I mean, black characters that are easily recognized as European well, black characters. You know, Tozen, Aikawa, then Espada with all the eyes, and Yoruchi. Um, I'm not going as Yoruchi. Sorry, no. And, um... Yoruchi is black. I'll be here. No, she just got really badly burnt. Wow, that's news to me. Yeah, okay. Um, but no. Uh, I was Tozen because his costume required a lot of work. And my hair is quite as long. Luckily, Love has an afro. So, I was able to put this to, to good work. Work with what you got, huh? I know. Yeah. Awesome. It's funny, but too many people are still mistaking me for Afro Samurai. You'd think they'd see me in a shitty gun and say, wait, this can't be Afro Samurai. Well, you need a bigger Afro, too. Apparently. Yeah, you're actually yeah. blowing miles in the breeze to be Afro Samurai. So, what are your thoughts of the convention so far? It, I like it. This is my first, I like it. This is my first out-of-state convention, and, uh, 
it's really big. <laughs> it is really big. The dinner floor where we are right now is huge. We have a game room, um, which is a lot of bananas. We have footage of that. It's huge. I mean, they just speak all over the place. For each game, there are multiple screens, so there's not a long line because there are five, or five groups are so playing at each awesome. station. And, um, uh, it's really packed. Um, I've been getting a lot of pictures of the other cars, but some are really good and some are... Uh, oh some yeah, are we like to label them as people in costume. People in costume, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that's great. As I Mr. Think. A friend of the club, Mr. Chong Young, I like to put it. They're not cosplayers, they're people in costume. So, I give credit to him for introducing that phrase. Of course. Yes. So, um, I don't know if people... Are aware or not, you are not naturally from the United States. No, but I'm, I'm from St. Kitts, a small island in the West Indies, and we don't have anything like this. I mean, we have anime fans and, and you know, people who are really into anime pop out there and everything in Asian, but there's never, there's no outlet like this where you can go and meet people who, this amount of people who share your, um, who share the, uh, your interests. And there's no place where you can buy stuff. Like, I actually bought this Haori at the convention. There's no place that you can you can find this on St. Kitts, you bought a fan, some other stuff. Um, so this is really good. Capitalism has got you got that. Yeah. Oh, tons of fun. So, um, let's say, would you, if you went to St. Kitts, you went back to St. Kitts, uh, do you see it as big, do you see a convention being there? I would love it, really I would, but honestly I don't think it can happen. Well, there are other countries out there that are starting to do anime conventions. Yeah, I know, but what I'm saying is that... In Asia, Indonesia, Mexico, uh, well, some European countries have anime fest all around. But it's this, kind of quite recent. Yeah, but think the past decade, they started. In St. Kitts is we have such a small population, and anime is such a niche market as this, that there wouldn't be enough people there to support and they never wrote this. It wouldn't make much, much money. And honestly, without making money, they wouldn't have a... They wouldn't keep it going. I mean, they might try it one year, and then they'd realize that it's not financially viable. So it would die out after that. And honestly, I don't think there's anyone with the passion to try and kickstart one off in the first place. Like a Caribbean anime film? That might probably work if they're more than one of the larger islands. If they're one of the smaller islands and have everybody come there, that might actually work. Ah, conversation for the future. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah. Give me the money and I'll gladly put it on. Awesome, awesome. Well, it was nice talking to you, Mr. Davis. Good luck with the DVD. Uh-huh, when it comes out. Yes.